We begin tonight with the Myers fire burning 25 miles southwest of Phillipsburg. The lightning sparked fire has now chewed through 13,359 acres. It is 4% contained. It did not show significant growth Tuesday. Helicopters, including a Montana Air National Guard Chinook, were used to drop water on hot spots. Today's plan called for utilizing hand crews and heavy equipment to continue constructing and widening protective lines on the north and east sides of this fire. Our John Amy was at the fire today and filed this report. To effectively run an incident command post just outside the scene of a large wildfire, it has to be set up like a small city. You could look at the ICP is walking downtown Phillipsburg, for instance, and then instead of a business, you've got a, a, a group that does a specific thing, such as finance. We've got a Main Street, and uh, we even have a <coughs> town square, which is where we do our briefings right here. And you've got internet, you've got cell phone service, you've got all the power you need. Um, we got heat for the, you know, when it's cold in the mornings, we've got air conditioners in the tents when it's, you know, 90 to degrees to 100 degrees in one of these tents. These services are necessary for the more than 500 people needed to fight the 13,000 acre Myers fire, located about 25 miles southwest of Phillipsburg. It's all about making sure the firefighters can better do their job. Uh, just try and make it as comfortable as you can because with folks out there working as hard as they're working, you know, it's nice to come back to something that's at least comfortable so they can get a good night's rest. You know, they're clean, they're well fed. Um, they can hit the ground running in the morning. This includes medical services for serious or mundane injuries. We also do a lot of blister care of the firefighters. We get them ready for the, so they can go out and work on the line in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then in the afternoon, they come back in and we patch them up as best we can. For the next two or three weeks, this is how the crews are living. So this is, this is home right here. I've uh, got a spot where it's kind of flat. Nice view. You have the stream down there and uh, the camps down there. So this is my commute to the office every day. I love it. It's important these firefighters are well prepared to do their job. And, and what, this is why is this a concern, this area? Uh, you know, there's a number of structures through here. There's probably a, about 60 structures, uh, mostly private owned. Uh, there's also some historical structures on the east side over here. So what we'd like to do is just not impact this area with fire, keep it out of here. And if possible, if the fire does move to the west, that we can just herd it around. So you're literally just kind of redirecting the fire. You just let it. You, it yeah, by, absolutely. By setting up these these lines here, which are, which are, which are, gives it no fuel to move on. You've got it. You're absolutely correct. At the ICP of the Myers fire, John Amy, MTN News.